play points. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to A War of the Spark. Send it to boner at franklaport.com backslash boner. Don't send it there. I don't know where that goes. We're going to do some War of the Spark draft on Magic Online. So I hope you guys are ready for that. Even if you're not, I don't care. I watched the original Iron Man like two nights ago. That movie still holds up, dude. That's, that is a great movie. Tony Stark built this with some a box of scraps in a cave. I'm not Tony Stark. That's true. That is a good, that is a solid, that is a solid movie. Boom, boom. Ooh, a finale of eternity. We know how good this card is, don't we, boys? Yeah, we're for sure taking that. Yeah, that seems good. Which of the movies in this arc didn't hold up? Because seriously, I can rich anything. Same, dude. Oh my god. I've watched I watched Ant-Man 2 the other day. And not not Ant-Man the second one, but Ant-Man as well. I also watched Ant-Man the other day. And that holds up too, man. Oh my god, Mike, why do you hop in these queues at the same time I'm here, dude? I'm here. How am I right next to you? You're like two away from me. Come on. Get it together for fun. I love the first Iron Man. I think it barely makes my top 10 MCU movies. It's crazy how good all the non-Thor 2 Avengers 2 movies are. Yeah, I agree. Oh. I think it might just be Ral's outburst. Route burst. None of the black cards in here are good. We can take Chandra's Pyrohelix, but I think it's significantly worse than this. My problem is that one of the main ways to fix for Niv-Mizzet is uh new horizons which makes two mana of any one color uh i don't think the incredible hulk is part i don't think of the incredible hulk as part of the mc even though it, I, I know it is because it also has an credit scene it has an end credit scene with uh with tony stark no less i think we're just gonna take Ral's outburst here Ugh, yeah it's fine chandra's pilot pyro helix is pretty good here Dovin could be decent. Have you had a Niv draft? I don't think they're I don't think they're reasonable. I don't think they're good because you're not gonna there's not enough double color cards in the format for you to hit, first off. And then like the second off, like like I mentioned, your fixing in this format is like interplanar the inter interplanar beacon, I think, is the land. Uh and that adds two colors for only planeswalkers, and you have new horizons, which adds two of the same color. So like it's really hard to actually cast Niv Mizzet outside of just like getting five separate lands like you have prismite but then like i wait until endgame because out on pay-per-view so i don't have to go to the theater why would you do that oh uh, herald of the dread horde is good i like this guy a lot this is a card i actually never get to draft yeah i'll take a herald You know what? Memes aside, that's entirely reasonable. Yeah, it's just like, I mean, you just have to hope you get Domain, and then you're going to cast it, and you're going to be like, oh, I can't actually hit any cards off this because it's a limited format, and I don't have a ton of gold cards, you know? So, it just doesn't... It doesn't work. Oh, deliver unto evil. That's like a draw too. Bloom Hulk also very good. 
Sarkon's Catharsis. We can just burn their face. Sunblade Angel is good. Watch, we're going to be five colors anyway. I mean, Deliver is just like draw two, right? Howard the Duck was the true first MCU. Nick, you need to stop this. This is not okay. Ugin's Conjuring also just fine. This pack is actually very good. All four of these plus the Divine Hour are very playable. I'd like to stay away from the white. I think we're just going to take the Conjuring here. I'll take the Deliver because it's draw two. Ooh, Kiora. Interesting. I don't like Bloom here just because we have nothing to Bloom onto and it's also a, a third color that we're not really... Interesting. I mean, again, we're not green, so I think it's probably just better to take Heartfire or the Invading Manticore. Um, yeah, but if we're yeah, but if we're playing this in Grixis, like when is it going to trigger? It's not going to trigger off anything. Oh, Tibble's Rager is one two. When it dies, it does one damage. Pump it. It's all right. I actually do like Bond of Insight a lot. Yeah, this seems like a Bond of Insight deck for sure. Oh, Mayhem Devil. Okay. I don't know if we're sacrificing a bunch of things. Eh, we have hell we have heart fire. Can you wear the eyeglasses? I think transmutation is good. I don't know if it's better than like Honor of the Godfather in this deck or Mayhem Devil. I'm gonna take the Mayhem Devil because we can probably get those other two. Uh I'm just gonna take the Dovin here. Can you use the monocle with them? I don't think so. <laughs> I have no... There's no way to hold the monocle. I don't think you know how monocles and fake glasses work there, Kerwit. Yeah, we'll take this idiot. Oh, another Dovin? Hmm. This deck looks pretty good, actually. I would not mind, like, a Mana Geode or something. Uh, Skulker seems fine. Your deck looks a lot better than mine. I'm taking the good cards. What are you doing? Oh, Storev, Narset. Man, I like this Storev. Maybe we are just five colors. <laughs> Good lord, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have like the the, the strong regret off of the Nicobolus or the Niv Mizzet rather. Pack's not great. Thunder Drake's probably the pick, right? Narset's like two ticks? Oh, shoot. Hey, man, I'm going to the store. Have you want anything? <laughs> oh, man. I'm going to take Thunder Drake. Thunder. Th -th -th now Kazmina. That's a Planeswalker. It's another four drop as well, but it's still good. You give people opening weekend? Opening weekend's a little rough, man. Not everyone has the luxury of going to a movie on the on the same weekend it comes out. I think like I think a little more time is opening week. Opening week is fine. That's a little better. 
We did say opening week. That's fair. Uh, it's like Managio, but I like Aven Eternal even more. So I want to take the Aven Eternal. Leyline Prowler. I wonder how many Sarkon's Catharsis you might want to play. Aid the Fallen's fine. I don't know if it's pure gas. I mean, we have one Planeswalker in our deck. I don't know if we're going to play Dovin. So most of the time, this is like just a raised dead. I like Erratic Visionary, though. It lets us get rid of the cards we don't like. Invade the city is just... It's kind of trash, right? Callus Dismissal, however, is pretty good. I bet one of those cards comes back. Heartfire or the other ones. Liliana's Triumph and a Cyclops and a Herald. And this pack is also very good. I think I just want the Cyclops here, right? We're actually looking like a Cyclops deck. Come on, Niv Mizzet. Nickel Bolas. God, I keep getting them backwards. Yeah, good old Nivel Bulls it. <laughs> I could even see cutting black, but our black cards are very good. You might say game winning even. Yeah, Mana Geode seems great here. There's nothing else I'm super excited about, and I do want to be able to cast our spells. Eh, don't care about this guy. No Escape's actually fine. Spellkeeper Weird's also pretty good with Finale and, like, a bunch of spells. I'm going to take the Spellkeeper Weird. Yeah, it's not about rights, it's about decency. I agree with Josh here. Like it's it's about like um like it's about being more considerate than someone else, right? Like one person gets to be considerate in this. Like I haven't had it. Let's say I haven't had a chance to see Endgame. And I don't want you to spoil it. You ha now have the option to be considerate to me and and not ruin the movie for me. Right? Like but you're the only one with the choice here. I don't have a choice to either let you talk about it or not let you talk about it. Like, cause it will definitely ruin the movie for me if you if you if you give if you just start talking about it and give spoilers away, right? So, my only option, my only choice is whether to have seen the movie or not, and I have not done so, right? In this in this example, so like, I mean, it comes down to one person. Only one person has a choice to make in this situation, and and unfortunately, the onus does fall on you. You either get a chance to spoil it. Right, but I think you're. I think it's also like it doesn't come down to that, right? Like it's not like it's not like you're walking into every single room and having to talk about it, right? Like if you want to talk about a movie, you can be like, "Hey, anybody here had not seen it?" Like it's not. It's really not that hard. You're not. You're not going into every single room. You're not like tallying the entire room because you're not talking to the entire room. Like I mean, that's. I mean, you're being you're being a little. It's it's a little hyperbolic. See, here's the thing. Like, so you're saying, like, I mean, someone made the argument, like, um, I should voluntarily ruin my enjoyment of the movie. No, you shouldn't. You shouldn't. You shouldn't voluntarily ruin your your enjoyment of the movie, right? But the thing is, like, if I realize uh, that that the thing I want to do is going to 
that that's only minimal minimally enjoyable, right? Like we can we can agree that talking about the movie with our friends in a specific place is only minimally enjoyable, right? Like that's not a huge thing. I can either go outside, I can talk about it later, I can just postpone it, right? Like that's not that's not a big deal, right? So if you're talking about giving up this minimal enjoyment of talking about the movie with your friends, and that's the sacrifice you have to make in order to like not ruin the entire movie with someone else. I mean, that seems like a pretty small sacrifice to make. So yeah, I, I mean, I would, I, w- I would say that like, it's kind of not only expected, but like, like it's just, the, it seems like a decent thing. It doesn't seem like a big sacrifice to be like, Hey, let's talk about this later, maybe through messages or something because I don't want to ruin it for someone. Like that's not really a fucking sacrifice you have to make. Like, that's not, no one's like, oh my god, my whole day was ruined because I didn't get to talk about it with my friend at this specific time in this specific place. No one's saying that. Meanwhile, if someone's like, hey, I was going to see the movie in two days and someone ruined it for me because they just had to talk about it, that's kind of shitty, right? So, like, I mean, it feels like pretty cut and dry. It doesn't feel like it's a huge deal. It's about sacrifices, right? It's about you making a small sacrifice for someone else's benefit. And and sometimes you don't want to do that. But like I think it I think it it kind of it says something. You know what I mean? You have a choice, the choice is to not care about getting spoiled. You oh okay. I guess that's true. I like this Soren, but I'm not going to add white in this deck. Oh, another Mayhem Devil and a Vraska. This pack is good too. Hmm. I mean, even after one week, though, I'm not going to, like, go out of my way to be like, all right, your time is up, buddy. Well, no, you didn't say that. But, like, after a week, like, you, you literally said, like, I give it one week, which I think is super reasonable. Like, after a week, like, what happens then? Right? Like, I mean, this pack is pretty good. I want to take the second Mayhem Double. That guy seems good. Roll Reversal also seems pretty decent here. I might just want the Gateway Plaza, though. Actually, this seems like a perfect Roll Reversal deck. Yeah, I'm going to take the Roll Reversal. And we're going to really hope we can get another Gateway Plaza. Uh, We did want an Honor the God Pharaoh. The Elder Spell, that could be real sweet. Also, Davriel, also just the Elder Spell. This thing is looking pretty sweet. Hmm, another Heart Fire. I don't know if I want a second Heart Fire. You'll get caught up in the Heart Fire. I don't think we care about Sprint. Pestermite, Prismite, not Pestermite. Prismite could be decent. I'm pretty sure it's either Hardfire or Prismite. Gems only? Uh, isn't... Isn't it always gems only? I don't know. I don't know if it's... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the answer to your question. Um, yeah, we'll just take Hardfire. Uh, six drop. We don't have a six drop yet. Oh, Angress Rampage? Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, well, this deck is looking pretty spicy. Mm, I'll take the Transmutation here. Only 10 creatures, but still... I mean, I don't think it's like, it doesn't come down to like one week, two weeks, a month for me. It just comes down to like, hey, I'm in a group of friends. Has anyone not seen Endgame? Yeah, I haven't seen it yet. Okay, cool. I won't talk about it then. No big deal.
hey, someone made a post on my Facebook wall about Endgame that has a big spoiler on it. I'll just delete that post and you can just message me about it. Like, it's really not that hard to be considerate. Like, people make it seem like it's such a big burden to, like, it's like you're going out of your way to, like, just be a little more considerate or be a little more, like, accommodating to people. And it's really not that hard. Like, no situation have I ever been, like, I saw the movie three times. And that was, it's been out for, like, a two weeks this week, a week and a half. At no point have I felt inconvenienced by someone who hasn't seen it. Like, it just, if you want to talk to me, just message me. Whatever. Not a big deal. Oh, another Pyrohelix and a Dam Breaker? How good is Dam Breaker here? It doesn't seem great. We only have, like, one playable Planeswalker. We were really hoping for Nicol Bolas, guys, but it didn't happen, so. I'm going to take this Chandra's... Wow, another Herald, huh? I would like to find a place for that. Yeah, if you use if you use Kazmina's transmutation on an Ugin's Conjurant, it actually gets plus one plus one. Just so you know. I think Dam Breaker is usually fine as a vanilla creature. Oh uh, yeah, our sack outlets are literally just attacking for three. I, I don't think this is. I think this is a three three for three that has an upside when you have like. Uh, Heartfire, Liliana's Triumph. Let's see what else. Uh, that's not a sacrifice effect. Yeah, I mean, I don't think there's that many sacrifices deck effects in the format even, but. 24 cards, huh? We gotta cut one thing. This deck looks very good. Oh, it's yeah. That's that was another thing. It's also when any when any player sacrifices something. So, um, is there one card that just stands out that I don't like? Maybe honor the Godfair because we have deliver unto evil. We have erratic visionary. Yeah, I can see cutting. I can see cutting that 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 thing. This gets exiled though, doesn't it? Hmm. I might like honor because of that. Six five six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, it should definitely be higher there. Six, six, five is rough, but I think it's fine. We actually only have one double card, and it's the finale, so I think that's actually pretty okay. This deck is looking interesting. It's got a lot of powerful cards in it. Let's see if it's just a complete flop. Yeah, keep. Almost a snap keep, you might say. Alrighty then. It's actually looking pretty good. We'll have two cards in the graveyard for the Cyclops. Yeah, we're going to kill that. It's possible if we wait, we can get another card out of it, but... I'm actually tempted to get rid of the heart fire. Because now this guy deals three to target creature.
Yeah, finale is pretty busted. What are you going to do? Put a little counter on your bully? Okay. Good to see a draft on MTGO. Yeah, I like to mix it up. Uh, one thing I do like about Magic Online drafting, uh, for those who ask me, like, why do you like drafting on one or the other? Uh, the Magic Online drafts are quicker. Uh, not to say I want my my value to... Not to say I want my, the, the, uh, the experience to be faster, right? Because usually the more entertainment value you get out of your experience, the better. But, um, you know, like when it takes an hour and a half to do an entire Magic Online draft, that beats the like two hours and 15 minutes it takes on, on, on Arena. Especially when you're uploading the videos to YouTube because then it's much more, it's more digestible that way. Like it's easier for someone to watch a, uh, an hour and a half video on YouTube or an hour and 20 minutes video than it is to watch the two and a half hour video, so... It's just creature. Weird. I feel like that should be planeswalker too. Now I'm wishing we discarded a creature instead of the heart fire, but here we are. Don't really want to trade with either of those. Alpha Wolf, have a good afternoon, buddy. There is one little fly flying around this area, like a little gnat, and it's driving me up the friggin' wall. Because I just keep seeing it, like, go across. And that's it. Can't you just cut out when you draw lands and just have a 20-minute video? <laughs> oh, touche. Touche. I mean, I'll trade my one one for a one one. That's a good. That's a good deal. I also want to get this pyro helix back because, come on, that's a good card. That kills both of these, or one and one, or you know, whatever you want to do. They have four cards in hand? What's going on here? I guess we have three cards, but it feels like we have one card, so. Seems good. <laughs> hmm. get them so now they either trade oh Vraska's at two though that's worse yeah that's pretty bad because then they can attack with both these guys I forgot they proliferated onto that and I did not look before I did it I did not look before I leaped so to say Okay, I guess you just have all the Wanderer Strikes. Yeah, 
Yeah, there's no reason to attack it. Like, if we block here, we get it off the board, but, like, otherwise it just becomes a 2 2 and we can just kill the Vraska here anyway, so. Sure. It's actually pretty okay, I think. Let's bond of insight. Let's get Pyrohelix and probably honor the God Pharaohs back, I guess. Hey, I got it. That was amazing. At least I think that's it. Yep, that was it, all right. Wow, good catch. I'm like a friggin' Mr. Miyagi over here. <laughs> Got him. Why, this person's taking uh, quite a bit of time. We have three minutes more on our clock right now. How's Mike in his back? You can ask him. He's in the chat right now. Oh, Vivian, wow, you just like run and run one planeswalker after another. I see. Reach and vigilance. You got it. I gotta actually do some Bobby Miser. Have a good afternoon, buddy. Do I make a 2 2 here? Probably, right? Spellkeeper Weird's pretty good here. Still in pain on the daily. Yeah, that's been my experience with Mike as well. He seems like he's seems like he's in pretty rough shape. Man, exiling this uh, this unblockable creature is pretty good when you just got planeswalkers for days. Also, sacrificing this will trigger this, so we can just shoot this next turn, which is nice. And then we can Pyrohelix this one, so... You know, assuming they don't have another Wanderer Strike, I think we're in okay shape. Hmm... 
Let's see what you hit. Oh, it's, they don't get to reel it. All right, sure. So it actually could be a creature. It could not be a creature. Guy's gone. Kind of like shooting these, like this and this, puts this to two. We should have actually attacked first. Clam Moo is SeaWorld's largest clam. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, God. Oh yeah, it's actually Mike's birthday, guys. Wish Mike a happy birthday. If you guys are watching on YouTube, also wish Mike a happy birthday in the comments, and I'll make sure he sees him. It's really giant growth this and block, and we're just like... Burr, 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 burr. I guess I still trade. Nope. Okay. Yeah, because like a 2-2 two -two would kill both of these the same, so we should have waited to cast this. Then we just got to keep a 1-1. One -one. Although we have one card, they have three cards, a Planeswalker, and a removed creature, so... Also, actually, if we left it as a 2-2, they could have just played this guy and blocked, which is worse than getting rid of the Death Touch guy. Now, when anything gets sacrificed, we get to play this guy. Yeah, okay, sure. Get rid of Vivian Reed. Get another card. Now you have five total cards. I feel like we've drawn a lot of things with, with uh played double Honor the God Pharaoh. We played a Bonds of Insight. And yet we're still like pretty one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. We also have one, two, three. We have eight lands, they have five lands. So Yeah, that's fine. Yep, okay. Give me that. Oh, the finale's not even going to do it. Oh my god, but we drew it anyway. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh god, I said it too soon. Give me the finale, guys. Oh, it's there it is. We just need a second black. Can we get a swamp? Give me that swamp. They still have four cards in their hand. This is unbelievable. Well, that's hard to deal with. Between Band Together and Double Wanderer Strike, this this green-white deck has a lot of removal. 
We also have about five minutes more on our clock than they do, so they're taking significantly longer with their with their decision. One, two, three. So we have eight lands. They have five lands. So we have three more lands. I, if we can put put three lands back in our hand and draw three extra cards and be on par with them, I'd yeah, be okay. It's turn eleven, so like I, I don't think they've. Uh, I think they've got four spells in hand. I would assume. Oh no, just another another rare planeswalker, that's all. <laughs> just another rare planeswalker. You know, like you do. Come on, we're hoping for black land. Did we discard a swamp? Wow, that's terrible. I actually don't hate either of these. So the Mana Geoid and one of the Swamps is in the graveyard, so we need one more. Out of five Swamps, we have three left in the deck. We have a 25% chance. I imagine the Pouncing Lynx is the one that goes. Yep. Shoot this guy so that we can actually block it if they want to attack. Yep, take two. If they play a creature here, we can probably exile all of their things if we hit one black source. We did not hit a black source, guys. Wow, this deck is stacked, dude. I thought our deck was good. They're like, oh, Vraska, Vivian Reed, Johnny, Prison Realm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have to block something. I guess we can block here. Take eight, go to one. So this guy's actually going to go to six, and then we'd have one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, we could still do it. We could also just jump block here, which seems a little bit better. Well, they have one card, and if we get to resolve our finale, I think it's good, but. Island, fantastic.
Yep. Let's block here. All right, you're going to play a third creature. I'm going to draw a swamp. That's how it's going to go. We have a 33% chance there are three swamps left in the deck. Thirty percent chance, probably. Like, yeah, it's a thirty percent chance, literal thirty percent chance. Nailed it. So wait, what did they do? Choose four. They made a two-two, a two-two. And they return what, like two planeswalkers, the Vivian and the yeah, of course they did. <sighs> wow, their deck is friggin' stupid. Let's make sure we're hitting the right guys. You, you, and you. I mean, we're just way far behind. Like they, the their deck is insane. Plane wide celebration, two rare planeswalkers of Raska. Prison Realm, which is one of the best removal spells in the format. Double Wanderer Strike, like. I'll play my Johnny and put counters on all of my creatures. Yeah, there's nothing we have like that. We're just gonna draw we're just gonna draw a mountain here, you ready? Callus Dismissal, bounce this guy. We, we chump block here, we bounce this, make a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, that's not going to do anything. Uh, Elder Spell actually seems pretty decent. Cut a red, add a black. The funny thing is, roll reversal doesn't even seem that good because, like, they didn't have broken creatures. They had broken planeswalkers, and, like, we have one planeswalker to really exchange, so I'm going to take the roll reversal out. I can see the other Pyro Helix actually being pretty good here. Any thought on Tharkon to Cotharthith? Um, I think it's all right. The problem is like if it's a one, it's a one for one with Planeswalkers, right? So you kill Planeswalker, but they all they already got value out of it, presumably. So I'll keep this because it lets us cast everything. Like we have six minutes more on the clock than our opponent. <laughs> This is nice because Geode sets us up on turn five to play another three drop so we can put a counter on this. <sighs> this is where they play a Johnny. They put two counters on their guys. They attack for a million. Oh, just an arboreal grazer. Okay. Fascinating. All right, this is where we draw finale. You got it. Mm -mm. Mm, 
bottom. Yeah, let's get in there. Sure. Why did we hit our own guy? Oh, God. Oh, God. My phone went off like 19 times because I got a bunch of emails, but... Oh, that was so frustrating. Cool, that changes the entire game. Yep. Another land. How nice. Elder spell and lands in hand. Seems good. Oh, that was such a big deal. I can't believe we did that. I'll play a Johnny and put counters on all of my creatures. Oh, they can pump their whole team. This is terrible. I'm not even I'm not even gonna play this game anymore. Jesus Christ. Yep. Cool. Infinite lands. Yeah, their deck is nuts. Congratulations on drafting a nutso deck. Um Nope, didn't want to do that. Add one more. Take out one mountain. Yep, that was fun. I feel like we kind of want one Sarkon's Catharsis in the deck just to finish them off. Or we can get it back like two times with Bond of Insight or Spellkeeper Weird. super sad because our deck seems great like i really like our deck but i guess sometimes you misclick and there's uh no way around it Yeah, Spellkeeper Weird and the Double Rays, that is nice, because then you can get back the Spellkeeper Weird. Hmm, Grateful Apparition.
super cool. Super cool. We're going to kill this guy because it makes this guy better, and I also want to be able to do something next turn. Don't care about mana geode, we'll just take the spellkeeper weird. Especially because it gets back Rowl's outburst. Got the worst creature dot deck over here. One, two. Eh, we'll just play Skulker. I know, everyone got one. They all get one. Oh, Pegasus, huh? Well, now our Cyclops has a target. They have one card in hand. All right, see, now, now I feel like we're significantly ahead right now. No, I feel like we're significantly ahead right now, he said. And these are some aggressive attacks. This is 10 damage. I guess we could have played this guy, then played this and sacrifice the next turn for the one point. Because right now they're just dead. Got him. Well... That one Sarkon's catharsis in there. It's slow, but we'll keep it. Invade the city seems pretty bad, yeah. See, so what we, the creatures we saw here were 1-3, one, 1-3, three, one, three, three, three. Like, we saw a 2-2, two, two, but, I mean, mostly we're, we saw a bunch of stuff that... Pyro Helix is not going to really kill, and I like being able to close out the game with a card like uh, Catharsis, because it's very good. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Yep. There you go. There you go. I mean, you can see last game we played the Cyclops, which is two damage. And, uh, 
I mean, that was fine, but... You know, if you're playing Invade the City for three mana, a three mana 2-2, two -two, it's just not great. <sighs> okay, sure. <laughs> Interesting choice. Seems good. I mean, they could just have nothing, right? Double block one of these guys, they kill a 1 1. I want to believe they're not mono white. I don't think so, man. I think they are. I mean, now I feel like you have a, a great moment to attack with these guys because then you just proliferate. Even more so now because then they get a counter and you get two counters on these guys, but... Oh, they figured it out. And we can't just take six, we're at 12, so. Hey, we had a fourth land. So what happens if we block here? Block here, we take one, two, three. Yep, let's just go to the next game. Yeah, roll reversal, the more I play, the more I see, it just seems terrible. Roll reversal is coming out. I guess Pyrohelix is, all, it just kills a 2 2. I guess that's fine. Soren's aid being double black is rough. Yeah, I guess that's fine. All right, we'll risk it for the biscuit. Any black source, guys. Any black source. That's a red source. Close. Come on, black now. That'd be so good. Bill, I opened that link. I'll have to watch it. I'll watch it after this. Yep, that's no good. Uh, let's get rid of Catharsis and we'll just play land here. <laughs> oh man, I, I have a feeling I know what it is from that hashtag. <laughs> Oh, another red card. All right, so three colors is pretty rough here.
Oh, I'll make sure to turn the volume up. Don't you worry. Hey, buddy, you're sitting in front of a you're sitting in front of a piano. I I have to turn the volume up. All right. There's no way around Divine Verdict. If they have Divine, not Divine Verdict, whatever it's called, Rally of Wings, sure. <laughs> whatever, my dude. Could have also just taken one, I guess. I kind of want to play this now so I can play the land. I guess we'll take the mountain. Not ideal, but four black cards. I guess we can play this and play this next turn. If we draw a swamp, we can play Geode and Herald, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that would be good. Yep, that card's good. That's not terrible, but... Stay on top. Power Helix deals to you two. Next turn we can play one of each. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Yeah, we can play both of these. We'll take four, eight, so we'll go to seven. Interesting. Oh, they were going to pump their team. So they'd give this guy... Plus one, plus one, sure. I think they're just attacking with the bird instead. Mm -hmm. Yep, you got it. Take four. Well, we got the ground pretty much covered. And we're going to go to seven here, which is fine. But we do have to start finding some things to deal with this 3-3. Three, three. Oh, good. A 4-4. Four, four. Or a 3-3. Three, three. I guess it's a 3-3 three, three for now. Yep, that's pretty good. Oh, boy. 
Well, at least we only take three here. Yep, Johnny's pride mate slowly getting out of hand. We get two more looks here. That'll do it next turn. We can get back Ral's outburst and then shoot the angel. But the pride mate's still 5-5 five five at that point, and the bird is actually not great for us. I might actually just jump here because I don't like the idea of going to one, and we'd actually die because they'd pump this, so. Blocking is actually relevant. Or necessary, not relevant. And we could block with, we could actually activate Erratic Vision or get rid of Herald. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's... Let's block like we stole something. So this guy's gonna go up to a 5-5. Five five. So it's probably better to block with these two. Oh, the first strike actually makes it a 5-5. Five, five. This makes it a 6-6. Six, six. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we can actually shoot both of these. The cat doesn't have first strike. You mean lifelink? Yeah, that's not going to count till the end, though. God, do we just trade both of these for an Johnny's Pride Mate? That sucks. I think this is correct. This guy doesn't die. They have one card. I'd rather block with... Ah, this guy's going to get pumped, though. We could go shoot here and shoot here. I don't want to lose the all the mayhem devils is really the thing. Yeah, I guess we'll risk this. Feels bad, but I guess that no, eh, they have eight mana, so they can actually activate this and divine arrow, whatever that card is. I can never remember the name of that card. Oh, they're killing this guy instead. That's interesting. Yep, pump your dudes. Two, two, three, three. Like we can still no, we can't because this is gonna be a this is gonna be a five five, and then it's gonna get plus one plus one from the angel. Casmina seems better than Harold here. Yep. 
seems good. <sighs> These guys are both three threes. Yeah, this is why Shauna's power helix just doesn't do anything for me. We can kill this. I think we just have to. Like the Johnny's Pride Mate's the only creature that gets another card. If we draw like Callus Dismissal, though, it's like we're in good shape. Like we have to get back Ral's Outburst to kill this. And then we can chump block here if we absolutely have to. They're also at 35 life. This is pretty ridiculous. So the thing is, with with the Rouse Outburst, we're either drawing a land, which would put us to eight land, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which would leave us two land up, um, or we're drawing a spell, but we only have one mana up. So it's like, I, I almost want to be able to block next turn, because we have chump block, block, block. I guess there's two flyers. Now, we can't let this untap, because otherwise, as soon as they untap with this, we actually can't. Oh, I guess we could have used this. Um... Uh, we couldn't last turn, because we didn't have uh, the... We just played the spell weird. The weird last turn, because we couldn't sacrifice it that turn. And this turn, if we also had Pyro Helix in hand, we would only have three mana left over, so we wouldn't be able to do it now either. Um, ugh. Does anything matter? Just shoot him in the face? Does it matter? No, I don't think it matters. Let's get the good card. Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. We actually still can't kill this guy with the finale. That's something. But we do have some chump blockers. Okay, that's actually nice because it lets us kill all three of these guys. Oh, we did it. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, that's actually fantastic. Welp. Seems good. So we can Bond of Insight, get back Finale, and Ral's Outburst. Let's let's concern ourselves with the board first. Oh, 
How many friggin' war screechers do you have? One, two. This is your third war screecher? That card's there's no way that card's good enough to have three, right? Is there a three mana spell I can use to kill this? Because I really don't feel like having it attack us and going to two. I guess we could Callous Dismissal as one of our cards. One, two, three, four. Oh, uh, let's get back. Finale. And Callus. Block here, block here. I think that's fine. We can just keep this guy back. What did we mill? A martyr and a divine arrow. Alright, well. I mean, 10 cards is plenty. Oh my god, this is not real. They drew another war creature. There's no way four is correct, right? That just seems not real. Okay, let's go one, two, three, because those are the only ones we care about. Actually, we'll probably get rid of this guy. I think I think your odds of uh One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're not close to. I'm just going to go four in case they have a way to pump. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Okay. We're doing it. We're doing it. Yeah. Okay. Negative five on that guy. I just gotta work. How's your shift at the factory still going? Uh, how is? Are you asking how? How is it going? Like, what is the quality of the the shift at the factory? Or are you asking how is it possible that it's still going? Those are both both questions that you can ask. Okay, well, that was a struggle. Let's take out the role reversal because I've learned my lesson. Everything else seems good. Like the deck seems good. What am I missing? Ugh. I don't understand. All right. Do we have an Exile of the Hawk card on the sideboard? If so, I suggest it. Me too. We'll keep this hand.
Okay. I'm game. What are the odds of another one deck, white deck, one and five? I don't think that's how statistics works, but maybe. Mayhem Devil. This guy probably only has like four Hawks and 15 to Johnny, so don't bring in the anti-Hawk card here. <laughs> oh god, you're right. It's okay, they got... It's gonna be a turn three Kiora. I don't know if it's that good. It's gonna be Dovin and they're gonna... They're gonna negative on our... Nothing? Nothing's happening. Okay. Oh, second, second main. Got it. Uh, let's just play the four drop now. Because next year we can go Mayhem Devil and Py Pyrohelix. Guys, what should I have for dinner tonight? I'm not sure what to eat. I was gonna have I was gonna have dinner with Mike, and then Mike was like, "I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little poker game. I'm gonna go play with my other friends." And I was like, "All right, whatever, man. What uh, what should I eat though? I don't understand. Sponge cake sounds good. Uh, I think we're gonna error. I think we're gonna lean towards Erratic Visionary." and Mayhem Devil here. I wish I had a way to get this back because this is a really sad... Uh... Chicken Kitchen. Chicken Kitchen. I don't know if that's a restaurant. Yeah, that's right. I called you out. I called you out. Well, I gotta go play my poker game with my buddies in the, the place. Oh, is this a real link? I bet this is a real link, isn't it? Well, this is this is a real thing, isn't it? On the bright side, we can actually attack pretty easily here. I mean, if I end the stream in like the next 15 minutes, we still only have an hour to like go to a restaurant, get food, leave the restaurant I don't think I don't think that's happening buddy he, Mike's like oh, it's my, my poker game's at like 8.30 so and it's 7.15 so I'm like nah, I don't think that's gonna work out you want an hour and 15 minutes to wow wow that's just great so I guess we're just we're just losing to all these like busted rares. Wow, another another trans another transmutation, huh? Yuppers, gonna take six thousand. Come on, callous thing. That's a land. That's another land. You can feel it all over. You can feel it all over. The game starts around 9.20ish, but yeah, you're probably right. Knew it. Well, this is getting worse. Our Liliana's Triumph is getting worse now. Oh, boy. It's a lot of damage to one Mayhem Devil.
Wow. Seems good. I guess it is the white deck. So we basically lost this game to one roll -esque. Seems good. Totally reasonable. Oh look, it's eight exactly. Callous dismissal one time? One, two, three, and then we still have one, two, three. Well, it, it block. He block and he... Pro oh, this guy said trample. I'm an idiot. Never mind. If we activated this instead, let's see what would have hit. It would have cost one less. We'd have three mana, so it doesn't really... Yeah, that's not going to do anything. I mean, we'd have we'd be one shy is really what would happen. All right, now we're bringing in roll reversal because this is the first deck that actually had a creature that we wanted to kill. That's amazing. Cosmina's transmutation also the first deck that that seems good against. I don't know, Rollus is a card that I look at and I'm like, man, you seem innocuous. Like, you seem like a card that's just a shitty mythic, but on the other hand, like, you're probably, like, you look like a card that could be very, very good as well. Like, it makes something already on the board good, It it's good on the board, and it makes something when it leaves the board good. Like, it's it's got a lot going on. Did we have a worse creature on our sideboard? Wow, that's messed up. <laughs> You're a shitty mythic nerd. Wow, that's messed up. What's the holdup? Come on. Come on, Shep Diesel. Let's get it together. Play the song while you wait. Okay. I gotta find it. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> That 
that's the best, dude. <laughs> Bill, I hope you, I hope you knew that off the top of your head, which I'm pretty sure you did, because otherwise that'd be the quickest like, the quickest learned Ghostbusters that I've ever heard. And I've heard some Ghostbusters jams. I've heard some Ray Parker Jr. Copy striking coming. Yeah, they're like, hey, buddy, we heard you riff on a piano uh, playing the Ghostbusters song. Is that... Uh I saw, the funniest thing is I have no idea why that song was stuck in my head during that video. I don't know what our opponent's doing. Taking their sweet time is what. Yep, don't care about that. Maybe it was because I had Ghostly Prison. That's actually an interesting... That's... Oh, maybe. Be a land. Not a land. Okay. Let's get rid of the five drop. Be a land. Okay. It'll do. Who are you going to call? The funny thing is, last game we were so close to just being able to Liliana triumph the guy off the board. But alas. I mean, this is all things considered. We're trading a, a Pollen Bright Druid and a Kazmenius Transportation for a, a Transportation? Trans, transmutation for a Thunder Drake, which I think is fine. Swamp, please. One swamp will do. That's not a swamp at all. And that's also not a swamp. Well, I'm just going to discard that because we have nothing in our hand that costs more than four. So if we hit a swamp, we're just fine. And all our cards are just fine. One Swample Doodle Doo, please. One Blackums McSorsums, please. Yep, that's a big fat idiot. One time. Oh boy, I guess we can play that. Oh boy. But da 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 da. Bustin makes me feel good. Wow. Seems good. I'll take three. You guys just got the better version of mine. Guys, we did it. Uh oh, it's magic. The gathering. Why is it? I literally thought that same thing. I looked at it and I'm like, wait, how do I know this is flying? Oh, it says it, I guess. All right, I guess that's cool. That's hilarious. I mean, just get in there with a 3 3 flyer. This ain't complicated. This ain't hard. They were so far ahead. Give me that roll reversal. I said, give me that roll reversal. God. That's not what I want to see. One, two, three. Play this idiot. Hearthfire deals five. That's kind of cool, right? So we can kill this Ashiok Skulker. Or we can just block, use block, block one. Yeah, that seems good too. Actually, I guess we're sacrificing the zombie army. I 
Here comes Rollesk. Keep Rollesk, 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 Rollesk. Oh, you're just making this dude unblockable? Sure. That's a solid strategy. I'm really proud of you. I'm very proud of you. Oh. Hmm. The problem is we want to deal six damage, not five. It doesn't. It does do five because we have Mayhem Devil out. <sighs> I think we all know what I was talking about. Yeah, that's what I was. That's what I'm hoping for next turn with the fly with the with the triumph. Make them sack a dude, block, shoot him, block him and shoot him. Block and shoot and block and shoot and block and shoot. Although I don't know how to deal with this Kiora's dam breaker. I have one card. It's gonna be a land. Oh, biscuits. I do kind of want to hit a land here. But if we don't hit a land, I think we can just wait. Oh, they got something else. Oh, they just they're going to they're going to do it. They're going to do that jobby. They did not hit. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look again. I'm gonna do a little searchums. Oh, you whiffed again. So many whiffs, my dude. Thankfully, you have 8,000 mana, so you can just keep on. Yeah, that's fine. I don't like that we're gonna... I don't like that that's probably what they're gonna sacrifice, but... Actually, they'll probably just sacrifice the zombie army itself, so... Do, 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 do. Now the Ghostbuster song is in my head for sure. Yep, that's it actually. That was what we were hoping for here. Bye, bye. Little Sebastian. Block here, block you, block you, do 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 That seems good. Now they have a three three and a two three and we have a two two and a one two. I'm not gonna get rid of this finale here. Well I will get rid of that, however. So what can that get back? Um, Pyrohelix, Heartfire, Liliana's Triumph. Seems okay. Okay, so they're just gonna keep doing this until they hit creatures, which I mean is fine. But they haven't hit a creature in like 7,000 turns, so. Hmm. We really want that black, don't we? If we hit a black one, one, two, three, we can, hit, we can do this for three and kill two things. We 
You can also sack this guy and then play Angrass Rampage and Liliana's Triumph. And then just attack for three. Leaving him with nothing on board. But I'd almost rather keep these uh, on the off chance, like... God, that second black is really grinding my gears. Like, I don't want to give them too much time with this, because if they draw, like, two extra cards next turn, then it's just infinitely worse. The finale is just infinitely worse for us. But I kind of want to keep this to get back finale, because it's just really strong. Yeah, I'm going to pass. I'll give him one more turn. How many black sources? There are six swamps and a mana geode. So we have six more six more sources in the deck out of 20. So, like, probably a close... Uh, again, uh, it's literally exactly 30%. So six out of 20 would be three out of 10. Now they're going to hit. Uh, I don't think we've seen any walkers for this. We've seen Rolesque, which is pretty scary, but... Math and Moto be reasonable. All right. Really? Fascinating. Uh, interesting choice. Let's dig, because we're going to probably pitch anything that isn't a black source. Easy, easy choice. Kazmina seems pretty good here. No escape. And together on this guy. I like Rampage here because actually... Oh, it's a sorcery, so I guess that's uh, not an option. Yep, that's fine. I mean, I figured they had band together last turn, but their attacks didn't really make sense. Oh, that actually is pretty good here. I don't want to bounce this guy. No, I think we just want to get rid of the Callus Dismissal. I mean, if they sack this guy, they keep the worst creature, but the, the better engine. Yep. Makes sense. Still digging. All right, no, no hit there. So they're gonna have a bunch of non-creatures on the bottom of their library at some point. So iron bully, sure. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, 
Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, we still have seven lands in our 16 card deck. See what we hit. Roll reversal. That's interesting. I think we're keeping that. I'm actually tempted to discard the finale. Because we can always bonds of insight it back. One, two, three, four. Or we can just get it back with the spellkeeper. Yeah, I like that better. Well, we can't activate this. I'm actually just going to Liliana's Triumph this guy. So now we have Roll Reversal. Like, if they play a Roll Esque or something, I want to be able to deal with that. Swamp is fine. We can get it back with... We can go Bond of Insight, get Finale, and like... Pff, callous Dismissal, something good. What are we getting back? This is actually great. Yeah, we can just wait here. Like, we don't have the Bonds of Insight anything. Because we don't know what we want here. Well, that guy's annoying. <laughs> Look what I found. Uh, one, two, three, four. Let's get Finale back, because it's just bonkers. And I guess Triumph. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty. Three lands out of eight cards left. But we've already milled uh, Honor and Erratic Visionary and Kazmina, so we don't really have a way to. Uh, we don't really have any reason to loot. Whereas getting to the ten for fin finale is pretty good. If we hit three more of those lands, if we hit all three of the lands before we need to cast Finale, then we get all our guys back. We get uh, Herald, Spellkeeper Weird, Erratic Visionary, Aven Eternal, Herald, Mayhem Devil, Thunder Drake, and Skulker, which would be pretty sweet. Looks like they were going to play something, and then they did not play something, so... Two more lands. If the next two cards are lands. Kazmina, why can't you... Why can't we proliferate here? Oh, 
I guess you can <laughs> show off. I'm pretty sure we just double block here. And then we can switch. You can pull the old switcheroo. And we're trading a 3 3 for a 2 2. I'm totally fine with that. Adderfist, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We have one more mana, and then we get to finale, which is pretty nuts. We just have to survive. Here he comes. Here it is. Yep. Come on, land on top. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just trade here because it lets us take one more hit from this guy next turn. Anything from War have me excited for Modern? Um. Not specifically, but it is a good set for modern. There's one more land in our deck. I think we can take a hit and then we can outburst. I think we're going to do it. I think we're going to gamble here because I think it's a cooler thing to do. I mean, as long as they don't have giant growth, right? Yeah, that's fine. Dude, that's awesome to hear, man. That's awesome to hear. All right, we're going to three. And then we're going to Rouse Outburst their face, I believe, because we have no other targets, really. Any land for the win? Crossing our fingers here. Got him. <laughs> so satisfying. That was satisfying. That being said, their deck looks bonkers with Rolesque, Double Bloom, Hulk. My man. We saw like zero planeswalkers though. I almost want Crush Descent just because I feel like it's. There's a lot of things we want to counter. That was a Rick and Morty reference. My man! Yes. I keep feeling bad about Chandra's Pyro Helix. I just don't feel like there's. Other things are. I think Crush Descent does suck, but like, but they have a bunch of four fours and four fives. Like, I think it will counter something. Yes. <laughs> so you're saying I am not fired? Yes. Plus, at worst, this is a this is a four mana two two with flash like.
Oh my god, these hands are so bad. That's a good one. I'll keep that guy. This is four lands? Okay, this is actually pretty good. Why can't they ever mulligan? Why is that... Am I asking for too much? I got a Teferia pre-release and then I smoked it. <laughs> you know, like you do. Totally normal thing to do. My man. Don't play Pollen Bright Druid. Dang it, that's the last thing I want to anger us Rampage. My man. My man. It's my man. What's wrong with him? I don't know, man. I just want this game to end in, in a victory for me, but I don't think it's going to happen. Spellkeeper weird. All right, we got this Thunder Drake coming down. Thunder, th th thunder, lightning and the thunder. Yeah, that's pretty good. Reasonable attack, reasonable attack. Now I'm really regretting not playing this on turn two. And we had a good run. We had a fun. We had a fun game two where we got to outplay our opponent. But then our uh, game three, um, magic because you know just magic being magic again. So you know, good times. We get to go to two life and kill two of their things here. I guess we can block one. Sure. Surely. They only have, they have three mana. That ain't the worst. Thunder, 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 cats. Mm, they said no, I don't want to do that. I was like, okay. That's cool. Callus, Callus Dismissal. Oh, that's a that's a good one. All right, we ain't dead yet. I'm not dead yet. Cyclops kills a two drop, a two two, a thing with two power. Oh, you're just gonna play Rolex here that was just sitting in your hand the whole time. Yeah, seems good. Congratulations, drawing in all three games. That's nice. That's nice. No attack, huh? Okay. Yep, that sucks. Probably dead now. While that is good, I don't think it's enough. If we bounce this, they just replay it, and this guy becomes a 7-7, seven, seven, and then we trade these two. If we bounce this, they don't have it, but then we also just die to this in two turns.
could just play Drake. Yeah, it's got to be this. Gonna leave my old life. I think I have four cards in hand. Jesus. I mean, Drake can block, but only once. And, like, they could just do that. Yeah. Seems good. Going to one. <laughs> Bias a turn, huh? I mean, if we can hit Finale here, it's good. I think Finale would be our one out here. Sure. 7-7. Seven, seven. Seems good. Oh, we might... No, we, we should still have Roll Reversal in the deck. I wouldn't have taken it out when they have... So I guess we have finale and roll reversal now. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> Bill, I opened this video too. Uh, yep, that seems fine. Trade a 7-7 seven, seven for a 4-5. One time, something good. That's not it. All right, we had a good run. Nice 1-2 finish with, uh, with the deck that looked much sweeter than that. And uh, what do we have drawn? I don't know. Can I go back to the game? Two cards away. Cool. All right. Well, either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Twitch and Patreon and mandatraders.com. You'll get 20% off your first three months of any subscription. And you can also check out meundies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Check out all those links. They're in the description below. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Really appreciate it, guys.